In these uh, slides, we are going to present model simulations demonstrating these uh, processes in the indoor air. And model simulation will be presented for a certain micro environment, let's say an office or a house. Uh, the first simulation assumes that we don't have a pollutant indoors. And at certain point, say at hour one, we have a ventilation system that starts and then outdoor pollutants are penetrating indoors via the ventilation system. Here we have three lines demonstrating three different ventilation rates, half, one and a half, and three. And you could see whenever we have higher ventilation rate, the increasing or the accumulation of the outdoor pollutants in the indoor air is getting faster. Whenever we have a slower ventilation rate, then the accumulation is also slower. The second case is when we have an indoor source that is making aerosol particles to accumulate indoors from uh, just the indoor source. And at a certain point, again, at hour one, we have the ventilation system starting or we have an open window to remove the uh, indoor pollutants. You could see again that the higher the ventilation rate is the faster the removal process. And the uh, slower the ventilation rate is the slower the removal of these indoor uh, pollutants. The last demonstration is about uh, the time lag between the indoor and outdoor pollutants. Let's say if we have a peak of uh, air pollutants outdoors, how we could see, see it indoors based on the penetration or the migration of the uh, outdoor pollutants into the indoor air. And here we have an empty room and the penetration factor half. We assume no sources, no suspension, and no deposition in this room. So this is only demonstrating the um, response between indoor and outdoor pollutants. You could see from the... Th there are three curves here. Whenever we have the higher ventilation rate, then uh, the response is faster. If we have a uh, slower ventilation rate, then the response is slower, and you could see how the time lag is longer when we have a uh, slower ventilation rate. But uh, by the end of this lecture, I hope you, we learned something about the indoor aerosols their dynamic behavior indoors and how they are produced and removed from the indoor air and how we can uh, simulate these indoor aerosols. Thank you very much.